for a six hour trip today. It's eight o'clock right now. Water's pretty nice today. It's like three or four foot, but we're about a mile from one of the bad buoys. We'll be up to it in the next couple minutes. There's a nice bird pile on it that I can see already. So we'll get up to it and see if there's anybody here. Four, you can sit down in the chair. Thank you. All right, now, just like he showed you guys in the briefing, already been to one of the fad buoys, no bites. We're in like 1200 fathoms right now. I saw one sooty turn in the binoculars. Got up to him as soon as we got up to him. We had long corner go off. Nice Mai Mai. Grabbed the 12 inch Aloha Lures Beauty. Nice job down there. That rhythm you got going is perfect. Coming up here. Starboard if you can, and then you're just wrapping and pulling up slow and you're keeping his head low, okay? Remember, last wrap, you're keeping it low down in the water and last wrap, don't bring his head out of the water. And I'm gonna gap him in the head, okay? Nice job, couple more cranks there. See, that's your swivel coming up right there. When you get up to that swivel, you're gonna stop cranking. And if he wants that side, Isaac, let him go that side. You should be able to start guiding him good right there. Take him starboard, head low. Low, 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 low down in the water. Yep. Now start walking, creeping over that way. To see him? Yeah. Nice my my there. All right, heads up. They're a little wild, so like I was underneath one bird. There you go. Oh, there's dinner right there. Oh, awesome. Yeah, they're probably these and yellowfin tuna are my favorite fish out here. All right, gaps right here. Isaac, look when you're bleeding these guys. Come right to here. Okay. That. That's your bottom gill. See that? Well, got me. That's good. See, and that's how you want that. You want that spurn blood like that. And that's when you know you hit them in the right spot. That artery right there. See, it's spraying. Yeah. That's how you bleed them on your line correctly. Okay. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys, we'll go back through that area and see if there's any more there. All right, we got him there. Nice my my about 15 pounds or so. He came in and grabbed the Aloha Lures Beauty. 12 inch on the long corner, but yeah, just underneath one sooty turn that I was following. As soon as we got up to him, we had that long corner go. So we'll spin back through there. There might've only been that, that one fish under that bird, but go back through there, see if we can get any more bites. And then if not, we'll keep moving. So good way to get our morning started here. We're at 24 miles right now. We just still got that one my my. It's, 10 30 right now but got a nice aqua up here in front of us about a mile that looks pretty good so be up to it in about 10 minutes or so and see how it looks watch your drag watch your where's your drag at your drag's good your drag's good it's a nice size aqua here it's a skipjack tuna all right well we just got up to that pile we took like four or five passes finally got a good pass and got a nice aqua on it's probably 10 15 pounder but hopefully we can get them here Came in and grabbed a little feather we were running off the bridge. I'm gonna add a little bit of drag here for you. There you go, now you should be able to put a little more to them there. And the way you're doing that, up nice and smooth, down to them, that's perfect, good job. And then you can leave your riggers, Isaac, in your center, okay? Coming up here, you probably got about 20 feet, 30 feet or so. It's a skipjack, that's for sure. Whatever it is, it's big. Right. Got leader. Couple more cranks. Nice one. Yeah, 
Yeah, baby. Pass me the bat. Nice one there. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's close to 20 there. Skipjack tuna. That's about as big as we've seen them in months. So, really nice one. Hey, good job, dude. Thank you. Awesome. Good job, Captain. Thank you. All right, we got him there. Nice skipjack. That's close to 20 there. It's kind of a hard biting pile, but we'll go back through there. I don't see him anymore. Went down deep, but we'll go back through there, see if we can get another one. And if not, we'll keep moving towards home. But yeah, second fish of the day. It's been a pretty slow bite, but luckily we're pulling a few out here. So keep moving. All right, well, we fished that for like another 10, 15 minutes. No more bites. The fish come up, but only for a couple seconds and then they go back down so it's real hard to get a good pass on them and they don't bite good when you do so gonna get the big lures back out and start heading towards home see if we can get anything on the way back okay isaac put this 50 into the bucket and let's get that fish in the chair start going back to him Okay, grab onto that rod, just like that. Oh yep, that's a nice fish. All right, well, I don't know what we're dealing with here. It's just came in and hit the center. It's not huge, whatever it is. I'm pretty sure this is a spearfish or a small striped marlin. It's basically coming right to us. Yeah, he took like probably 150, 200 yards of line right out the gate and didn't take it real fast. I knew it wasn't huge, but we got the deck cleared. But that's on the Barella Malolo, seven inch Malolo with the Hawaiian Malolo bird in front of it. So we got about 50 yards yeah. left here. Coming up here, coming to us. So if it's a spearfish or a small marlin, we'll release it. We got a good amount of food on deck already. So. Lift up, grab that leader, keep the pressure. Now walk to your left. It's a spearfish. It's the rarest marlin in the world right there. Pull him up. Now you can, once you grab onto it, you can get her out of the chair. Yeah. Get that above your hand so that we don't lose it if I break them off or something crazy. Oh, he bit me. Go ahead and get her out of the chair. Set the rod in the center so she can look at it and then I'll release it. Yeah. You guys got good video of that and everything? Come take a look here. See him? That's a short fill of spearfish. Grab me the pliers real quick. Okay guys, now when I do release, it's gonna go quick, so. There he goes, beautiful. On that Barella. Yeah, that's a that's a short billed spearfish. That's the rarest marlin in the world right there. And since we already got some meat on deck to eat for dinner, it's cool to be able to release that guy. So hey, congrats there. It's called a short bill spearfish. So here in Hawaii is one of the only places in the world that they can be consistently caught. And even then we might catch five to 10 a year. Wow. So that's the first one I've caught in, boy, I don't know, four or five months probably. So that's pretty awesome. I could tell by the way he was biting that it might've been a spearfish. All right guys, we'll get back to it. Yeah, that was about 40 pounds. All right, we got them there. Nice spearfish, 40 pounder or so. Yeah, they're the rarest one in the world there. They're good to eat, but we already got some fish on deck, so it's cool to be able to release that guy. Hard to release them hard. They got nothing to grab onto there, so getting the hook out was kind of tough. I didn't want to grab it because it was right by my hand, but I grabbed a pair of pliers, pulled that hook out, and got that guy released. Awesome fish came in, grabbed the center, the Barella, and uh, had that Hawaiian Malolo bird in front of it. So we're at 19 miles now. Point it for home and keep heading that way. All 
All right, well, we're getting ready to clear lines now. No more bites on the way home. We had a couple of aqua paws that looked pretty good, but didn't bite. Three for three today with the Mai Mai, that nice aqua, like 20 pounds, and then that spearfish that we released. So kind of a slow day, but made our bites count. So pretty good, but we'll get in here and we'll get those fish pulled out and we'll get them cut up. In here. Yep, there goes his skin just like that. Uh, Yep. You haul them back out or what? Yeah, I'll take them out and give them to this guy that uses them to catch bait. What do you guys do with the rest of the meat? Do you guys take it home? Or yeah, we'll just take whatever you guys don't take, we'll take it and eat it. It'll be super soft. Wow. Different bone structure to it. Yep. Yeah, they're all a little bit different. So there's all his organs there. <clears throat> and there's like basically nothing in that oh guy's God. stomach. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you take all the fins out right there. Probably great. How did it taste this plain by itself like that? You want to try a piece? Kind of, yeah. I'll try a piece. Tiny little piece. Okay. And I'll even make you a little, a little platter there. So it's gonna be a little chewier right now than it will be like tomorrow. You can say you did it.